Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom's heart. What's up, Sunrays? Welcome back to my channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. Today I am going to be doing another viewer's choice combo. I know you guys have probably been waiting. Um, and I said I was going to finish up the combos. I think I have maybe four or five left. So I'm going to try to go ahead and finish out finish out March doing the twist out combos. I'm going to try. It'll probably go in a little bit into April. Um, maybe just because um, of the time frame I have to wait between twist outs. So we'll see. Um, but anyway, today is a bit of a different combo, in my opinion, and it is involving mousse. And I've always wanted to do a twist out using mousse. And I don't think I have on my channel. I know I've done a wash and go with the mousse using the Texture ID mousse. And I also did a wash and go using the Mish mousse. But I don't believe I did a twist out using mousse. Now, I know you guys are gonna let me know in the comments if I have, cause I could have forgotten. I do so many videos, I don't always remember. So if I have, put it in the comments. I know you will, cause y'all don't miss nothing. <laughs> y'all don't miss nothing. But anyway, this particular viewer wanted me to do a combo using the Camille Rose Naturals Coconut Water Leave-In Detangling um, Hair Treatment as my leave-in. So I've already applied that to my hair, as you can see. So it's already in there soaking in and I'm dripping. And then she wants me to top it with the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Curl Enhancing Mousse. So I've never used this mousse and I have been wanting to give it a try. This came in the, um, the set that Design Essentials sent me and I showed you that little travel set a while back. Um, so yeah, I'll get a chance to use it so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started so my hair doesn't dry out. Like I said, the leave-in is already in. I have not used this leave-in in a while because I have been out of it for so long. And I finally got some around Black Friday. So yeah, I got to use it again. And we're going to see if it works the same for me. I used to love this leave-in. So... Of course, it has a lot of slip. I was able to um, feel that in the shower and I can still feel it now. My fingers are gliding right through my hair. It smells great. It feels great between the fingers. So let's hope the moisture is enough um, to last me with this twist out with just using mousse on top. So now I'm gonna take the almond and avocado mousse and apply it to the section. So that might've been too much, not sure. So we're gonna Go ahead and apply this. Mm. Not sure what it smells like. It just kind of has a lime smell to me, I guess. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, not going over the ingredients. I think I've told you guys in the past that I wasn't going to be doing a whole lot of uh, reading of ingredients and stuff anymore because um, it gets just to be too much and too long. I will try to mention if something has silicones in it. And I think this may. I need to double check the ingredients. I'll let you know after I, I apply it to my hair. Yeah, I'll let you know if it has like silicones or sulfates in it. But going into ingredients as far as protein and glycerin and this and that, I'm not doing it anymore because too many things act as protein that it is not protein um, or, you know, binds with protein or whatever. A lot of things, um, you know, can act like a glycerin or a humectant. So when you say something's glycerin free and it has another humectant in it, people are in the comments, this has a humectant in it, this acts like glycerin, this is a form of glycerin, this is a form of protein, you told people. And it's like, you know what, I am not a chemist. When I say glycerin, I mean vegetable glycerin or glycerin, okay? If I say protein, I mean something that says hydrolyzed wheat protein, hydrolyzed uh, quinoa, keratin, 
things of that sort. Amino acids, if it doesn't say that, if it says coconut oil, I'm not gonna say it has protein in it. Otherwise, coconut oil would be protein. It would say coconut protein. It wouldn't say coconut oil. I'm sorry, I don't mean to get, but that's what I'm saying. It's like people expect us to be chemists and we are not chemists. We're trying to give you the best information we can based on the back of the bottle without being chemists, without being uh, hairstylists and stuff like that. And you hold us to this high standard of having to understand and know every ingredient and everything and I do try to do my research and I do know that coconut oil binds with the proteins in your hair and can make your hair um, feel strengthened and all that kind of stuff that's why I don't necessarily like to put raw coconut oil on my hair and everything because I'm low porosity and it does make my hair feel a little bit hard but I'm not gonna go through all of that just if it has pro you know it's like some people um, yeah basically that's it i'm not gonna go through all that i'm not a chemist so if you guys want to know whether it has those things in it do just like i do <laughs> go to the internet pull up the site look at their ingredients list or go to the store look on the back pull up the, uh look out the ingredients list and find it for yourselves because the main ones sometimes they be complaining not all of them but some of them that be complaining are the ones that don't want to look for themselves and is expecting me to tell them everything. So anyway, so enough about that. So guys, I'm making them pretty chunky. I probably should make them smaller since I, well, it's getting late and I'm trying to get done. So I'm just going to keep on going the way that I'm going. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish applying the mousse to all four sections you guys can watch and i'll be back once i have it all applied life goes up and it goes down i know my mom taught me that i figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready, let me have another day. Don't wake up, wake up. Keep it steady, cause I'm happy, I'm not gonna. must pass but i'm not gonna wake up wake up i'm not ready let me have another day don't wake up wake up keep it steady cause i'm happy i'm not gonna wake up Okay guys, so I am done. I have all the twist in and the product applied. I, so I know I said in a previous video that I was going to hold off talking about the products and everything until I come back um, on day three because things change by day three and that is um, still my thoughts. But I do wanna say this before I forget about it on day three. Um, as far as this mousse is concerned, be real careful with it because when you pump it out, one pump, that's a lot. 
that's a lot of mousse. So I was able to use one pump pretty much on every section. I think a couple of my bigger sections, I may have did one and a half. Um, so um, I wasn't too concerned about it being a lot because I don't have anything else on my hair and because this mousse does not have a tackiness to it or stickiness to it like some do. It doesn't seem like it's gonna have a whole lot of hold, but I could be wrong. Um, so that's why I wasn't too worried about just trying to get half of a pump or whatever. I want as much hold as I can possibly get since it's the only thing that I am using um, in my hair. And um, this mousse does not have that same um, moisturizing feel. This doesn't have any slip, not that mousse it should, but it just, it just didn't, I, I don't know how moisturized my hair is gonna be, so I'm hoping this is gonna come through. But I just wanted to say that, that um, a lot of mousse was coming out, so if you saw a lot on my hair when I was twisting it, that's why um, you get quite a bit out of this one pump. So um, I still have about right to here, so I still have several uses um of this so that's great anyway i'm going to let this dry and we will talk more about it on the takedown so stay tuned okay guys i am back and my hair is dry it is somewhat shrunken but we're going to go ahead and take down these twists and see how this mousse worked My twists are soft. There is no crunch. Just basically letting it separate on its own by pulling down and see where it wants to separate. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'll be back when I have it all separated. Okay, so let me get some earrings on. And... Alright guys, so uh, this is my hair. Fluffed it out. Okay, so... Sorry. Okay, so fluffed it out. I didn't use a pick or anything. I just used my fingers and separated the curls. So let's get into this twist out so of course you guys know i use the camille rose coconut water leave-in love it felt just as good going on um, as it did in the past when i used to use it the detangling was great and everything my hair feels um my hair feels soft and moisturized so that's great let me get this part out of the back um then I topped the leave-in, as you know, with the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Curl Enhancing Mousse. And it says curl enhancing, and I agree. I have a lot of definition. Of course, I separated it a lot trying to get it bigger uh, without having to really frizz up my roots a whole lot. But there's a lot of definition in my hair. And it's all... It's, <laughs> It's actually funny because these are twirled up because I had them in my bonnet. So they were twirled up and then the ones in the back are long. So the ones in the back are hanging and the sides it's twirling up is crazy. So as you can see, I've just been trying to pull them apart. They separated very easily. So the more I pull them apart, the um, bigger it gets. But it is, um, it is soft. It does feel moisturized. It feels like it has a hold to it. It's not crunchy. Uh, it is a soft toe, so I'm hoping that it will last, but there's definitely, you can definitely feel um, some hold because you can feel like every crimp 
of where the twists were. So like this, I mean, you can just feel every crimp and you can feel that there is hole there. So I'm hoping that it stays, but look at that. Anyway, yeah guys, so this is it. It, um, it looks healthy, it doesn't look dull. It didn't flake, these products together didn't flake. I have on my, well, you guys, I need to do something so you guys can see my shirt better. Probably need to, um, scoot back some, <laughs> let me help, huh? Um, but anyway, it didn't flake, so I have on my black shirt, so that's nice and it feels good. So I like these products. I know I said in a previous clip that I didn't feel a whole lot of moisture in the in the foam like you do with some foams. I know that I said, or mousses, I know that I said that I didn't feel any slip. It didn't have any slip, but maybe, you know, uh, it didn't need it. The moisture, I don't know if it's coming from the leave-in or this, but I do have some right now. The hold, I'm attributing to this. Yeah, this doesn't say anything about hold, but it does say it's supposed to give you, you know, shiny, silky hair, so it did do that. And Sorry guys, all the barking. Um, so anyway, so this did provide the hold. I did say that it had a silicone in it in a previous clip, and it does, it has dimethicone in it. But as you guys know, I have bought new products during Black Friday. Some of them have silicones in them because I just want to try some new things out for you guys. Um, that's more affordable and especially because some of you don't care about silicones. So I have bought a few things with silicones in it. And then I also bought, as you saw in my Black Friday hauls, a lot of clarifying shampoos to make sure that I can get the silicones off my hair um, if they happen to build up. So yes. So for right now, I like this combination. I think it's a great combination. Um, you guys tell me what you think. How does this twist out look compared to some of my other twist outs? And like I said, this was a viewer's choice combo and the viewer that sent in this combo is Preppy Faye 12. So Preppy Faye 12, I hope you're watching. I want to thank you for this twist out combination. I like it. If um, you guys are someone who likes lighter products, don't like a lot of heavy oils and butters and looking to have a little bit more full, fluffy hair, um, soft, touchable hair, especially for the summertime since summer is coming, then I would say try out these two products, the Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In for the moisture and then the Almond and Avocado Mousse by Di Design Essentials for the hold. It is definitely giving me definition, it's giving me shine, it's giving me softness, it's giving me fullness, and I like it. Okay so, guys, just popping in to show you my third day hair. As you can see, it is holding up quite nicely. It is still very soft, no crunch whatsoever. Still has um, great definition. It is getting a little frizzy, you know, on the ends and around the perimeter. Um, around my edges a little bit, but that's okay for the most part. It looks still really good. So I can definitely go out in public and um, not feel bad about my hair. I think it looks nice. It still does not look really dry. I still don't have any flaking. Um, I have not had to moisturize it or whatever, and it's been three days. Now, what I will say is because it is getting a little frizzy, if I wanted to wear this you know, long enough to get to like seven days, I probably would want to retwist it and maybe put just a little bit more um, conditioner or maybe mix a little bit of conditioner in with water, shake it up and just kind of dab my ends a little bit. I wouldn't wet any more of my hair, but I would dab my ends a little bit just to get some moisture on the ends and then uh, possibly put like a little bit of mousse and then just twirl my twirl my ends to kind of get a little bit more definition on the ends to get rid of some of the frizz. But um, other than that, I wouldn't think that it would need a lot now. I'm probably not gonna try to stretch it to seven days. Normally I would be washing it tomorrow, but because I don't really have anything on my schedule for tomorrow or the next day, I may go ahead and just stretch it 
through tomorrow and through the next day so a couple more days so i definitely will be able to get at least five days out of this before i decide to um shampoo my hair again or wash my hair or co-wash or whatever um i decide that i'm gonna do but yeah i just wanted to come on and show you my hair so like i said before i like these products i think they work well together i would use them again together you tell me if you have used these two products together or if you've used this mousse maybe with something else and you like it with something else or you've used this with a different mousse let me know um, about your experiences with mousse and twist outs in the comment section below i love to hear your take on it and yeah guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in my next one bye guys